saan na galing mo. Penta. Okay. Let us all start. Mm. Let us all for a short prayer. Pray on your own. Again, good morning. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. So today we are going to discuss the last uh, section of our module three. No, or module two, which is about the limit loss. No, so mm, that would be two point three. Tomorrow and Tuesday, diba Monday, Monday next week, we don't have a class, right? So tomorrow, Friday, and Tuesday, I leave that to you as um, your free time to study more. When I say uh, a synchronous class, dili nga wala may buhato, no? So during our time, you start, mura gya po magklase, pero on your own you get a paper and then try to solve again the ano katong chapter chapter chapters nga kung agi uh, download sa inyo ha sa module 1 no? sa pre calculus and try to answer the what you call it the exercises at the back you don't need to pass it no Kamo lang agto, no? try to solve it on your own. And on September 1, uh, Thursday, <coughs> next week, you go to the, uh, you go to the school. Next week class, kay group 2 man, no? Kita man, no? Yeah, next week. Karun kay group 1, right? <laughs> Next week, Tano. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Chana mong ka mong tortanan, mamuno ginana, o gadunga mo ginana ba? Mura mo kita bitawag, kita mo anang, kita tong murag golden Buddha ba to, nga mo ginana. <laughs> But anyway, joke-joke yung, at least one morning pagali, be happy. <laughs> so <clears throat> that's it on Thursday and then on Friday next week we shall have a class. Ah, no, uh, a synchronous gapon. I will have to give you details, okay? So, um, so let us start with our presentation. You can turn off your camera. Okay. Can you see the presentation class? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Limits and derivatives. So last time, we discussed about limit of the function. And uh, we get the limit by numerical, no? meaning by numerical and graphical method, meaning getting the values or approximating the limit of the function using the table of values or graphical solution. Now, in this section, let us uh, calculate no, the exact value of the limits of the function using the limit loss. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> these are these are the limit laws that we need 
uh, in solving the uh, limits of given functions. Now, let's say we have a C that represents a constant and that the limits of the function f and g of x as x approaches to a exist, meaning when we say limit exists, they have values. The value is a number, not does not exist or undefined, okay? Then it says that the limit of the sum of the function f and g as x approaches to a is just equal to the lim is just equal to the sum of the limit of f of x and g of x, meaning the sum of the individual limit of the function. Same goes with subtraction minus. If we have a constant times the function, the limit of that would be the constant times the limit of the function. Product would be the limit, uh, the product of the limit of its individual. Quotient would be the limit of the numerator over the limit of the denominator as long as the denominator, the limit of the denominator is not equal to zero. Because if this is zero, then this is does not exist. No? If this is any number, real number, value, this one is zero, so this one is does not exist. Okay. Okay. <coughs> So, using using a graphical set, no. So, what would be the uh, using the limit loss and the graph of our f? This is the red one is the f, the green one is the g of uh, uh, blue bunny, aqua blue <coughs> is the g. So, letter a. <clears throat> the limit of the function plus five times the limit of G is e as X approaches to negative two would be equal to the limit of the function plus five times the limit of the G. So what would be the limit of F? The limit of f as x approaches to negative to this one is 1. No? 1 plus 5 times the limit of g as x approaches. What is g here? The young limit is negative 1. Therefore, that's it. f of x, the limit of f is 1. The limit of G is negative 1. So 1 plus 5 times negative 1 would be negative 4. Nakasabot class? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. So this one is the product. So what is the limit of f of x as x approaches to 1? 2. What is the limit of g of x as x approaches to 1? What is the limit here, class? What is the limit? As x approaches 1 from the left of g, what is the limit? Negative 2, ma'am. Pero the okay. limit sa function does not exist. Okay. So as x approaches 1, the limit does not exist because the limit of G as X approaches to 1 from the left is negative 2. 1 from the right is negative 1. Since the two are not equal, therefore the limit here does not exist. So that does not exist times any number 2, the answer here is does not exist. 
Okay? Letter C. It would be the limit of f of x over the limit of g of x. What is the limit of f of x as x approaches 2? As x approaches 2, that would be, let's say, 1.4. But what is the limit of the function as x, approach, as x approaches to 2 of g of x? What is the limit? Here, class. Zero, one. Zero. So, 1.4 over zero is undefined or does not exist. So, this one is undefined or does not exist. This one does not exist also. Okay? That's about class. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> okay, <coughs> we call this one <coughs> power law limit, no? <coughs> Sorry. The limit of f of x raised to n, pareha ni check f of x times f of x times f of x or f of x raised to n, is just equal to you take the limit of the function and then raise it to n. Okay? Number seven and eight, the limit of any constant C as X approaches to A would be C. While the limit of X as X approaches to A would be A. <coughs> so, for example, no, katong isang, uh, sa to siyang limit, C and X. No? So, So, to limit 7, the limit of C as X approaches to A is equal to C. How? Because if we try to graph that class, what is the function, what is our function here? Our function here is C. So y is equal to c. So let us say this is our c. This is our y is equal to c. So as x approaches to a, you know, so if this is our a, as x approaches to a from the left or from the right, our f is always c. That is why that's it. Limit of C as X approaches to A is equal to C. Example. Example. Limit of 5 as X approaches to 2 is equal to 5. Next is the limit 8 law. So limit. As x of x, as x approaches to a, would be equal to a. Why? Because again, if we try to graph that, <coughs> this is our this is our y is equal to x. So, if this is our a, since y is equal to x, this is also a. So, as x approaches to a from the left or from the right, an e and y would give you also a. So that you can say, you know, example, limit of x as x approaches to 3 would be equal to 3. Nakasab class? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> 
<coughs> so we also have this one. The limit of x raised to n, as x approaches to a is just equal to a raised to n. This is a combination of 6 and 7 limit law. Then, the limit of the nth of x as x approaches to a is just equal to nth root of a. It's just uh, the application of this. So generally, the root law, no, this is x. It can also apply to a function in general. The limit of the nth root of f of x as x approaches to a is just equal to the nth root of the limit of the function as x approaches to a. No? So be careful if n is even. Let us assume that our function f of x should be greater than zero for it to have a value because if it is less than zero, it is not defined. So evaluate the following. Limit of 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. So, for example, 1. Find the limit of 2x squared. 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. As x approaches to Zatusha, 5. So how are we going to solve it? <coughs> that would be equal to <coughs> no ato hinayon limit of 2x squared as x approaches to 5 minus limit of 3x as x approaches to 5 plus limit of 4. <coughs> so this one, <coughs> using the limit loss again, 2 limit of x squared as x approaches to 5 minus 3 constant times a function as x approaches to 5 plus limit of 4 as x approaches to 5. So that this one is 2, what is that? So that is 5 squared minus 3 times 5 plus limit of a constant is just equal to the constant. That is 25 times 2 is 50 minus 15 plus 4 is 35. Plus 4 is 39. <coughs> Nakasabot class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, 2. Negative 2. X cubed plus 2X squared. X cubed plus 2X squared minus 1 over 5 minus 3X. As x approaches to negative 2. Mo ba na? Negative 2. <coughs> okay. So that would be limit as x approaches to negative 2 of x cubed plus 2x minus 1 over limit of 5 minus 3x. As x approaches to negative 2, which can further be in, uh, which can further be simplified. This one plus 2 times limit of x as x approaches to negative 2 minus limit of 1 <coughs> over. Limit of 5 as x approaches to negative 2 minus 3 times limit of x as x approaches to negative 2. Which is then equal to negative 2 squared plus 2 times negative 
u minus 1 over limit of a constant is just a constant of negative 2. So, pila na ni? Negative 2 squared is 4 minus 4 minus 1 over negative 6 plus 5. 5 plus 6. Or that is negative 1 over 11. Can you follow class? No. Very good. <coughs> okay. Next. <coughs> Direct substitution property. If f is a polynomial or a rational function and a is in the domain of f, then the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is just equal to f of a. <coughs> <coughs> what do you mean by this? No? This one class. Notice that this is correct. The solution is correct. No? when we use the limit loss. But notice that kapoy kayo nung taas kayo, what if the function is complicated? So taas kayo to isulat. But notice that this one, beginning a step, we can skip this one. And just directly, since 5 is in the domain of our function, we just have to substitute it here instead of x, we substitute the a here, which is this one, and we get the same answer, meaning we skip this one here. So long as this one is in the domain of that. So that is what we, uh, that is what we call the direct substitution. We don't have to go through this, step one and two here. We just have to substitute directly because f is a polynomial or a rational function. Nakasabot, class? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <clears throat> okay. So, for example, this one. Uh, this uh, functions that uh, we can apply the direct substitution property, we call them functions that are continuous at A. We will discuss this one more when we go to continuity. So, example, solve this one. Find the limit of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. <coughs> so, limit of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1. <clears throat> so, <laughs> using the direct substitution property, substituting that one there, 1 squared minus 1 over 1 minus 1 gives us 0 over 0. So, if it is 0 over 0, we cannot have this one because this is not a number. So, we have to find ways, no? Our function, this is our function. We are given here a function f of x is equal to x squared minus 1 over x. We have to find ways to transform our function f of x here into another equivalent function so that when we uh, apply the direct substitution property, dili siya ma zero over zero. Okay lang class kung any number over zero because that will give us does not exist. But zero over zero, dili pwede. <laughs> so what we do is we manipulate this one like uh, rational, rationalizing, factoring, no? Um, so that <clears throat> ma reduce ya into another equivalent equation. 
So in this case, we can factor the numerator. Dapat class, maayo mong algebra, ha? Over the denominator. After that, we can cancel. I would like to use another. We can cancel that one. So we are left with our f of x is equal to x plus 1. <clears throat> so that this becomes limit of x plus 1 as x approaches to 1. So that when we apply the direct substitution property, it becomes 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So the limit of this is equal to 2. <coughs> Nakasabot class? Yes, ma'am. Again, you do it this way only if this one is 0 over 0. Okay. So that <coughs> in general, class, we have this useful fact. If f of x is equal to g of x when x is not equal to a, then the limit of our function is just equal to the limit of our g uh, function f of x is equal to the limit of the function g of x as x approaches a, provided that the limit exists. Of course, they are equal because we are talking about the same function, except when they when uh, the x is equal to zero. Meaning, if f is just equal to g when x is not equal to a, no other than a, then both uh, the limit of f is just equal to the limit of x uh, g because we are talking about the same uh, function. Okay. So example. Another example. Excuse me. So, to limit of g of x as x approaches to 1, in which gx is x plus 1 and pi. Okay. So. Example four, limit of g of x as x approaches to one, <coughs> to one, provided that g of x is equal to x plus one, if x is not equal to one, and it is equal to pi, if x is equal to 1. <coughs> okay. So, what would this be? No? As x approaches to 1, meaning it is not equal to 1. So, unsa may function nga atong gamiton. So, that would be limit as x approaches to 1 we are going to use this function. Why? Because it says as x approaches to 1. We cannot use this one because this one is, uh, no, th this one, sorry, sorry, class. We are going to use this one because it says as x approaches to 1. We are not going to use this function because this one is when x is equal to 1. Remember, when we say limit, 
x is not equal to 1. It is not x is equal to 1. So, kini atong gamiton. So, if kini atong gamiton, kini nga function atong gamiton, x plus 1. So, by direct substitution, that is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So, the graphical representation of that <clears throat> what is x plus 1 when x is 0, y is 1 when x is 1, y is 2. This is our y is equal to x plus 1. So, if this is 2, this is 3, and 3.14. So that when x is equal to 1, y is equal to pi over up pi, 3.14. If this is 3, mauna siya. But notice that this one, no, when x is not equal to 1, So when x is equal to 1, it is equal to 3.14 pi. When x is not equal to 1, it is equal to this line. So kinisha boslot. So notice that as uh, our g of x, no, as x approaches to 1, silang tanan mo approach to, the y is approaching to. In other words, our limit is approaching to. Nakasabot class? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Limit 3 plus h squared minus 1. So, 4. Limit of 3 plus h squared minus 9 all over h as x approaches h. Okay. <laughs> so <clears throat> what we do here is apply the direct substitution property. So that would be 3 plus 0 squared minus 9 over 0. That gives us 9 over 9 over 0 or 0 over 0. Again, we are avoiding this one. So what we do is, no, we try to, uh, what do we do here, class? So what we do what do we do here class okay <coughs> so, this is our f of x. No? So, let's say this is our f of x. 
what do we do with our f of x? We try to delete pwede, so we manipulate it. That would be 3 plus h squared would be 9 plus it times 2 is 6h plus h squared minus 9 all over h. So 9 minus 9 cancels out. So we are left with 6h plus h squared over h. We can factor out the h. Nabilin is 6 plus h over h. So we can cancel out the h here. Nabilin would be 6 plus h. <coughs> so that <coughs> we can simplify this one into this. So the limit of this one is simplified to 6 plus h as x approaches to h would be Sorry. Approaches to zero would be six plus zero, or it is equal to six. Nakas about class? Yes, you <clears throat> what is square, square root of t squared plus 9 minus 3? Limit. So example 6. Limit of square root of t squared plus 9 minus 3 over t, sorry, as t approaches to 0, so that is t squared. <coughs> <coughs> so, again, by direct substitution property, it, it would be equal to square root of 0 plus 9 minus 3 over zero so that would be three minus three over zero is equal to zero over zero thing cannot be so this is our f of x <coughs> we try to simplify it or express it in another way Para dili siya main ana equivalent. <clears throat> so we have radical, so we rationalize it. Hope you can still remember your algebra. If that is 3 minus 3, that becomes positive 3 over square root of t squared plus 9 plus 3. So that <clears throat> Multiplying this one, that becomes t squared plus 9, and that one, that minus 9, all over t squared times square root of t squared plus 9 plus 3. So then, 9 minus 9 cancels. Nabilindri is t squared, and this one here is t squared. Parenthesis get two terms when they know. So, Nabilin po dia is kana. So, finally, this is equal to 1 over square root of t squared plus 9 plus 3. So, 
Maoni siya ang equivalent ani. So that finally we can we can simplify to 1 over square root of t squared plus 9 plus 3 as t approaches to 0 by direct substitution that will be 1 minus square root of 0, 9 plus 3 or 1 over 3 plus 3 or that is equal to 1 over 6. That's about class. <coughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. <coughs> okay. So there are some uh, limits that can best be calculated by finding first the left and the right hand side limit. But again, this one, we have discussed this one already, no? the theorem that the limit of a function as x approaches to a is equal to L if and only if the limit of the function as x approaches to a from the left and from the right are equal and are both equal to L. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Show that. The limit of the absolute value of x as x approaches to zero is zero. <coughs> okay. number. Some. Limit. I don't know. Show. the limit of the absolute value of x as x approaches to 0 is equal to 0. <coughs> okay. How do we solve it? We know that from algebra, absolute value of x is just equal to x if x is greater than zero. It's equal to zero if x is equal to zero. It is equal to negative x if x is less than zero. Okay. Or further, we can combine this one as it is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to zero, or it is equal to negative x if x is less than zero. Is less than zero. <coughs> so, so, uh, ha. so <coughs> aha man ani, basta galing absolute value, we have the greater than zero and less than zero. So, if x is greater than zero, if x is greater than zero, what we do is the limit of the absolute value of x as x approaches to zero no, kana becomes the limit of uh, x approaches to a greater than zero is approaching zero from the right. So meaning x is greater than zero kini atong gamiton or kini pareho lang na so unsa may atong function it would be x so limit a uh, it would be x so that substituting that one there the limit of x as x approaches to 0 by direct substitution is 0 what if x is less than <coughs> zero. So the limit of the absolute value of x as x approaches to zero <coughs> would be equal to the limit x is less than zero. 
to kini na pud atong gamiton would be equal to negative x as x approaches to zero from the left, which is equal to zero. Since limit of absolute value of x since the limit of yeah the absolute value of x as x approaches to zero from the right is equal to the limit of the absolute value of x as x approaches to the left and are both equal to zero then limit of the absolute value of x as x approaches to zero is equal to zero. Nakasabot class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. Eight minutes ago, Romini. Okay. Prove that the limit of the absolute value of x over x does not exist as x approaches to zero. Limit of the absolute value of x over x as x approaches to zero does not exist. So, <coughs> solution, how do we solve it? <coughs> so, basta gay na kay mga absolute value or kanang piecewise, tanang to ang case-to-case -case basis. If x is greater than zero, we know that the limit of the absolute value of x over x as x approaches to zero becomes, so got it, again, absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater or equal to zero, negative x if x is less than zero. <clears throat> so that this one becomes the limit x is greater than zero, we follow that, is equal to x over x as x approaches to zero from the right, which is equal to the limit, x over x is one, as x approaches to zero from the right, which is equal to one. Now, if x is less than zero, limit of the absolute value of x over x as x approaches to zero, <coughs> becomes <coughs> limit less than zero we follow this of negative x over x as x approaches to zero from the left becomes the limit becomes the limit of negative x over x is negative one as x approaches zero from the left or negative one. Since <coughs> limit <coughs> of the absolute value of x over x as x approaches to zero from the right is not equal to the limit of the absolute value of x over x as x approaches to zero from the left. Then limit of the absolute value of x over x as x approaches to zero does not exist. Nakasabot class?
Okay. Determine if as x approaches to 4 exists, square root of x minus 4 and 8 minus 2x. Last take one after. <coughs> As x approaches to 4, given that f of x is equal to the piecewise square root of x minus 4, if x is greater than 4, 8 minus 2x, if x is less than 4. <coughs> So, <coughs> solution. Kung sa mga nag-isulat mo nga, at the end, solution. So, <coughs> piecewise man ta, so mag-case to case ta. If x is greater than 4, the limit, of our f of x as x approaches to 4 becomes limit x greater than 4 square root of x minus 4 as x approaches to 4. By direct substitution, that becomes 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. No. Hello? <coughs> <coughs> if Ito. x is less than 4 class come blah, 30 minutes na lang Ferrer, you're late why are you late <coughs> Ferrer hi mom sorry mom may internet problem ngayon na bumalik yung internet okay so if x is less than 4, then we're going to use this one instead. The limit of f of x as x approaches to 4 becomes the limit of 8 minus 2x as x approaches to 4 from the left. I, this one is from the right guy. Which is equal to, by direct substitution, 2 times 4 is equal to zero. Since limit of f of x as x approaches to four from the right is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches to four from the left, which is equal to zero, then limit of f of x as x approaches to four is equal to zero. That's about class. Night. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> okay. Next. <coughs> We have two additional theorems. So if f of x is less than or equal to g of x when x is near a, except possibly at a, and the limits of f and g both exist as x approaches to a, then the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is less than or equal to the limit of g of x as x approaches to a, of course. So, we are, we are. Of course. <laughs> if f of x is less than or equal to g of x, 
then the limit of f of x as f x approaches to a is also less than or equal to the limit of g of x as x approaches to a. We can prove this one or show this one graphically. So for example, your x, y, <coughs> no? For example, if we have here our if <laughs> Oh, oh my God, don't tell me. Mm. Oh my, oh my. Really, no, the little uncle on class. That part, don't Yes, wait, class. Sa class ha, kaya ako nang ayuhon kung maayaw pa ni. Ano niya akong problema? Sa mga problema di eh. Nawala, dili na ako maano. Sao naman niyo eh. Ano 
Are you there, class? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma Actually, akong uh, ko ano kay akong gi change ang orientation na ni akong buang ang pad sa sempakwa ni gariklam. Actually, nagpalit ko bag ko pero Sige, siya mag-work class. Dile. Dile. have a solution. Don't worry. This one, no. This one, no. Class kay ako ni Shanga. Ay, saan to? Can you wait for a minute, class? Yes, yes ma'am. Uh -huh. So, can you? So, ito kong buhaton, class, ha? Akong buhaton is... Uh, can I? Can I, can I, can I, can I? Ako rin makasabot. Erase. Clear the frame. And then.
So, ito akong gilin mo ani ha. Nasol, pero I took it from my lecture. Okay. Okay. So, Moni ang glass, no? So, this theorem clearly says that if our f of x is... Are you there, class? Yes, ma'am. If our yes, ma f of x is less than or equal to g of x, then the limit of the function f is less than or equal to the limit of the function g of x as x approaches to a. No? If no, f of x is less than or equal to g of x near a, so for example, this is our a near the r, f, f is less than g of x, then the limit of f is also less than the limit of g. Because our f, the limit of f as, f as x approaches to a is L1. The limit of g as x approaches to a is L2. And L1 is less than L2. Nakasabot, class? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> now, the squeeze theorem. If f of x is less than or equal to g of x, which is less than or equal to h of x, when x is near a, except possibly at a, then the limit of f of x, and, and the limit of f of x is just equal to the limit of h of x, which is equal to L, then the limit of g of x, kay tunga tunga man siya, would be equal also to L. Again, the f, is less than g is less than h but if the limit of f is equal to the limit of h automatically because g is in between the limit is squeezed that is why we call it squeezed theorem so that the limit also of g is equal to l 
<clears throat> so we sometimes call the squeeze theorem a sandwich theorem or pinching theorem in some other books. So again, our F is less than G and less than H. No? When X is near A, when X is near A here, so since the limit of L, F is equal to the limit of H, automatically must squeeze na dayon si G, the limit is also equal to L. Nakasabot, class? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So, show that the, show that the limit of x squared sine 1 over x as x approaches to 0 is equal to <coughs> 0. So, yang kwan. So, show that this one, no? So, this is the function that we want to show as x approaches to 0. According to squeeze theorem, f of x is less than g of x, is less than or equal to h of x near a. And if the limit of f of x is equal to the limit of h of x, which is equal to L, as x approaches to a, then by squeeze theorem, limit of g of x as x approaches to a is equal to L. <coughs> so, dapat ipakita nato nga si g of x is in between our f of x and h of x. Okay. How? We know that from trigonometry, no? The range of our sine of 1 over x is always less than or equal to 1, but greater than or equal to negative 1. They had a good na siya, no? Siya mo beyond 1. Okay. And also, x squared is greater than 0. So when we multiply x squared to this uh, inequalities, x squared, x squared, not your dear, x squared, negative x squared. And we make use of this squeeze theorem. Let this one be equal to f of x. This one be equal to g of x. This one be equal to h of x. Okay. Then, we know that the limit of f of x as x approaches to zero would be the limit of negative x squared as x approaches to zero is zero. And the limit of our h of x, which is x squared, is also zero. Since f of x, the limit of f of x and h of x are both zero, and g of x is in between here, then by squeeze theorem, the limit of this one, the g of x, as x approaches to zero is equal to zero. Nakasabot class? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, that would be your assignment. You can uh, pass it next week. Ah, by the way, you can uh, do this one. Okay, so this one I'm gonna download it. And upload it say new e learn. By the way, do you have any questions so far? Yes, Aubrey? Um, good morning, ma'am. Do you have plans, ma'am, on making the quiz available for review? On making the? The quiz, good ma'am. Or available to review siya. What do you mean by uh, available for review? Uh, 
para makita jud na mo ma'am asa mi na wrong sa imong quiz. Dili <coughs> man gyud available for review. Ah, kato inyong past quiz. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, uh, you have to I cannot give it to you because that is my personal ano. But anyway, uh, open notes man mo. So kung aha mo na sayo, di ba? Dili ba din niyo ma-view ang inyong quiz? Dili sa ako, ma'am. Dili sa sa ako, ma'am. Ayya, dili ma-view kay kuan man dito i-learn sa i-learn man dito. Dili pwede. So, anyway, ang inyong quiz, sa inyong first quiz, dili. No, I cannot open it again. Okay, mga, mga kuan. If I open it again, ma-open na po ang portal, mag-open na po ang portal sa PICAS, sa inyong grades. So, dili po pwede mag-open at ito. Okay, mag na po siya another column. So, what will happen is, for the first quiz, dili na to. So, for the second quiz, By the way, class, and yung second quiz, face-to-face -face ta, ha? So, face-to-face -face quiz, and then delete na siya sa e-learn. Uh, hard, hard copy na. Okay? Di ko ganahan at itong nangitabo at itong uh, nang, uh, ano mo. But that, after, ano, I'm going to, you will receive your quiz the next time nga mag-quiz ta. You can get your quiz. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, but for the e-learn class, dili pwede. I cannot open it again. Magbuhat naman good siya sa among grade sa among grade book ka sa e-learn kay magbuhat na po siya isa ka column. Then what if na ay mag-change dito o kung answer, dili yun pwede. Well, Any question? Question class? Ma'am? Do you have question? Yes, ma'am. Clarification lang, ma'am. Ma'am, when we do the direct substitution method, ma'am, ang diligid pwede may tabo is zero over zero. Okay lang ang number... Any number over zero. <coughs> Any number over zero, the answer would be does not exist. Okay, ma'am. Ma, may I ask on some coverage for the prelims? Is it only module two? Yes. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. The coverage will be limit only. Any other concern? Any more? So, akong i, akong i, ito na, upload niya kung kiling atong kuan, Jamboard. Jamboard notes on 2.3. Plus, uh, I'm uploading it. So, do you have any question? It's already uploaded. Any more question, class? Wala na? Okay, bye, class. Goodbye, 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 Goodb